So fungi, which includes all the mushroom that you can eat, to the single-celled yeast that makes yummy things like bread, cake and wine possible, are a confused little set. They aren't animals, they aren't plants. So in the classification of life, scientists gave them a kingdom of their very own fungi. They cannot make food by themselves, so they need to have to get their nutrients from a host preferably a dead host. They grow on a lot of different hosts, anywhere that is warm and damp, sometimes even between your toes. So you will find fungi on that piece of bread you left for your pet dog in the drawer that you forgot to give. You will find fungi in the kitchen cooking up a yummy cake for you. You will find fungi at dinner when you have stuffed mushrooms. So fungi also pretty much in a lot of places. So why exactly do you add yeast to cake? Have you ever thought about it? When you put the cake in the oven for baking, the yeast starts reproducing in the heat and produces carbon dioxide and bubbles of the gas of carbon dioxide form fill up the dough, raise its volume, make it soft, fluffy, tasty and the heavenly taste of cake is because of the yeast in the dough. Among, of course, other things like if it's chocolate cake, then you need chocolate syrup. But then the fluffiness is because of the yeast. And talking about mushrooms, these can get humongously big. The largest known organism on earth, in fact, is a mushroom. This fungus is five and a half kilometers wide and lives mostly underground in in a place called Oregon in USA. It's thought to be around 24,000 years old, really, really old and wise mushroom, right? So fungi, along with bacteria, are one of the best decomposers of organic material. Without them, dead plants and animals will just just hang around there, couldn't do much with them. And nutrients from this dead material would not return to the ground. So it would be a total waste, right? Now, scientists use fungi to make antibiotics as well. You're going to learn what these things are in just a bit, which doctors sometimes used to treat different infections, bacterial infections, fungi killing bacteria. Interesting. You need to wait for this. Okay. Now, there are a lot of bad fungi, but they can look like good fungi. So you need to be careful. For example, if you go on a camping trip, don't eat the mushroom that you may see. It may look like the mushroom you buy in the market, but it can be actually a poisonous mushroom wearing a mask. A lot of mushrooms that have bright colors like the red Amanita muscaria that has little white spots, great to look at, very, very poisonous. The most dangerous mushroom has an appropriate name. It's called the death cap mushroom. It is a plain white, beautiful color to look at and just a little bit can be, you know, lethal. It can kill. A lot of people are made very, very sick from eating mushrooms they pick in the wild. Some have serious health problems for the rest of their lives and some actually don't even survive. So fungi, mushrooms, serious business, okay? Now, bad fungi are really, really bad. Like I told you, they can make you sick even though they look safe to eat. Then there are fungi that love to make these horrible itchy scaly patches on your skin between your toes um, and make your skin crack and bleed. Now, if fungi get inside your body, they can also cause serious problems. To summarize, fungal infections can mainly be those which affect your skin or those which affect your stomach. 